I guess Tim figured I should try and kill myself today. Let's see, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I think you can. Let's see. Yeah, so I got you a pie. All right, so this is the new panel, which I should very easily be able to insert through there. And of course, it is quite easy to do. Let's say we we got to do it right because there's like tape on everything. I don't want it to be like fingerprints and weird stuff like that. Oh, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this and I'm probably doing it right and wrong at the same time. Jesus. Come on 3M. I gotta go back to the eye doctor. I'm not happy with my eyes. There we go. All right. Okay. Now that's it. There it is. I cleaned this up the other day with uh, Windex or window cleaner. And uh, there we go. Voila. So if you need a new panel, I'm a now a professional panel installer. Looks kind of weird there, but you're good. Looks good. Okay. All right. Let's clean that up later. Um, what I'm gonna do is turn that on, which isn't gonna do nothing, anything at all, because I have that thing up there turned on. All right, uh, I'm gonna turn this on. The fan is gonna come on. Ugh. I'm too short for this shit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back at my control panel. As you see, the new one is on there. I think I've already talked about this. Now it's time to take that off of there. Uh, pretty simple deal. I just need to get a there was a little strap here that Timothy had, but I think he took it back. So I have to go find that to hold this open so I can get that panel out of there. Okay, so this got a whole lot more easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I just wanna make sure that this is the proper panel. So I should probably ground myself, but I've, I've grounded myself here. There is no power on, everything is turned off. You kinda wanna do that. I got the new one in my hand here. You have to be very gentle with them because they're not easy. It says, static shielding bag, attention, observe precautions for handling electronic sensitive devices. I'm going to go put on a pair of uh, gloves so that nothing can go from my hands to this thing and that'll be fine. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But it's pretty simple to pull these apart. You just kind of do this like so, see that? And everything's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I know that I have showed this already, I think. I've showed this already. As far as the, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 
as far as the uh, panel is concerned, uh, where it cooked, and it probably is in this rectifier. I'm not sure if that's the case, but you see this discoloration here where it's kind of cloudy. It got hot here and hot here, and these are the ones that burned up. This little guy here, that little guy there, and right here, this one here. I'm actually gonna package this panel up and send it to uh, a fella. I believe he's in Arkansas. I can't remember where he said he was from, but I have to pull that off of there. And then that's it. I don't know why static electricity would be such a thing with these panels, but because it's a pretty crude panel, it's not like it's, uh, you know, it's not like it's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, it's not like it's a, 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 a very... I don't know, intricate panel, like with for in your uh, PC or something. There's not like there's a memory board or anything. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. It's pretty easy to do if you, hopefully the holes are in the right spot. And uh, I'm probably, uh, pissing off a bunch of people by using this electric screw gun but I'm not going to put the, use the electric screw gun to put it back in with because as far as I'm concerned this panel here is dead so I don't care you know So that's it for this panel. Let me uh, show you here again where we're at. The new panel is there in its static bag. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my gloves on and then I'm going to put it back in and show you how it works, if it works. Okay, so I'm very gently removing it from the static bag. Gently. I want to put the other one back in the static bag and then mail it. So. And there it is. It is the identical board. You know what's really weird? The diode that, or the little capacitor that burned up is uh, definitely a uh, little capacitor that burned up has, I'll show you in a second here, but uh, it's crazy. this corn going through this thing here. Avoid static electricity. Did you know that friction creates? Yeah. Everything looks good. I'm gonna feel these things. We should have power. There's power there. Mm -hmm. They're not hot. Everything's turned on. Rectifier, not hot, not hot. So let's see what we got on the front. I'll turn that on see what happens I heard things do stuff now this is the moment of truth that went. it worked okay um, all right so I'm gonna leave this open here I'm gonna reach my fingers in here and we'll see if it's warm haha <laughs> cold cold the uh, other day, or the other panel, these things got hot as hot as a lightning rod, man. Burnt me. Huh? Burnt me on the knuckle. Where? Right there. That's a scar, Tim. Well, no, it actually burnt me. I know it burnt. It burnt the hell out of me, too. There's no heat there. A little bit of heat. But I think that's kind of normal. Not, not, just a little warm, the top one, no? Yeah. That's what that is a heat sink. So whatever is going on there, it well, should. That's a resistor, I think. No, probably is. They'll get hot. That's why they have a heat sink there. So let's say we do this. Um, hold the camera. At least we know that that worked. And I'm telling you right now, I know that there's a fellow that watches these videos, and he said that it wouldn't be 
this touch pad that caused that issue but my thoughts and my thought process is you know that was last year um that when you hit these buttons they're only pressed for a very short amount of time but when me and cody peeled this thing off because this just is a sticker with a ribbon comes through the back uh when we peeled it off we bent the little the, the little spring-loaded gizmos and it caused it to stay depressed and i think that's what happened there so Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn the heater off. We're gonna hit that. We're gonna hit start. Yogurt. Unload. We'll look and see if it's good. No, it's good. It's, it's not running out. I thought you picked some, I looked down at the field and I saw that there was more corn pit. I didn't know. Yeah, well, I wanted to get it covered on that floor so that it was four there through because I didn't know when I was going to be panel from there. Anyway, alright, cut that off. Well, I know what it's yielding. And this is a poor part of the field. Getting into this low spot. But I don't care who you are, whether you're in Iowa, Ohio, Illinois, Nebraska, Minnesota, or good old New Jersey. When you get into down corn, it sucks. And I really do believe that these companies, and of course farmers want the higher yielding corn, uh, but these companies, these seed companies are sacrificing the standability of their varieties for higher yields. But in the end, if you can't get it, what good is it? I mean, really, what good is it? I got spots out in this field that I did not film that are just flat as a pancake. And here's a spot here that's coming up that's gonna be a pain in my ass. And you gotta get the snoots down on the ground, but the damn corn is 10 feet tall or better. And uh, you know, it's running a lot of stalk material through here. But it is doing its job. The header is shining.
be fun. I guess Tim figured I should try and kill myself today. Now uh, let's see if we can... Uh... Get this sucker to go. Thank you. 